right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, Dave. 1,111 at the park. It's just kind of weird. I thought this shirt was kind of big, but I did my laundry yesterday, so I don't know, whatever, right? Uh, but anyways, yes, it's a rainy day today, but it's like, so, you know, right here. But, you know, thank goodness, uh, uh, I don't even know, yeah, what am I doing? So, thank goodness, it's like there's this little break in the rain, and uh, I've been in meetings last night. Not only did I teach a full day of school, but then I had three hours, and then did the show last night, and then three hours this morning. After almost setting up a, a meeting, even an hour before that, and then so I have a quick hour, and uh, I'm mixing it in before this other three-hour meeting. So, you know, the people, the new people that are coming in, thank you. Thank you for coming. Welcome to my show, right? And, uh, yeah, one thing, I feel so embarrassed because, okay, I go in this meeting. It's Dr. McCormick, right? Fascinating dude. He's superintendent for uh, another school district. And, you know, he's doing all this stuff. And then, so, you know, I had my stuff. And, you know, and then after, and he's super cool. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to invite him to my show and you know, just see what we got. The thing is, for you people that watch my singing stuff know that, you know, I don't practice this stuff. But, you know, I'm a pretty good singer. But some of the things are just the ideas of it all. So it's like I'm talking about how, you know, I'm house shopping or in the market for a house and whatever. So I start singing the stuff like our house and whatever, but it's, uh, it wasn't too good. <laughs> so I feel kind of embarrassed. He probably looked at it and goes, what is this crap? And then, you know, when I sing that, uh, somebody's watching over me or whatever, I always feel like that one. It's like a rapping thing. And I'm like, Shh. and then Harold comes on later, says, dude, your sound sucks today. I'm like, thanks man. So I don't know. I mean, it ended up being a good show. It was like an hour and a half. And then so, uh, doing that Gangnam style. Uh, so what I realized is, no matter how bad my accent is for Korean, it's way better if I read Korean and pronounce it as opposed to reading the English version of it. Because A, I don't know the song, and B, it goes fast. I mean, I know the song, but it goes fast where I can't process how it's supposed to sound watching the English like split second. So, you know, that was my fault. But, uh, you know, this could be one of those ones, always be prepared, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, um, it's more of a thing on just getting everything in line, really, you know? So, I mean, I gotta think of what my ultimate goals in life are, you know? is my ultimate goal in life to just, uh, you know, go around walk into the park with my mask on and making videos? Or is it to be teacher at the greatest online school ever? Is it to be like a, a belly dance producer who's known all over the world? I don't know, it's just a lot of different things that, you know, I'd love to be the world's greatest son. That'd be like the greatest achievement I could ever do. And, uh, uh, you know, so all these things, it takes preparation, okay? Now, the thing is, the people that know me know that I'm a re... Okay, these are the things on how I achieve my goals, okay? Either I'm a very, very good talker, okay? Or I think very, very fast on my feet, okay? Or I am extremely lucky on how the cards fall. So, the thing that I think I think it is, it's just that I'm just a really fast thinker. Because, okay, when you have to prepare for things, you mean you always wanna prepare so you're ready for all the different things that happen and everything, okay? And then so, my, my thing is not, my specialty is not when everything goes right. Okay, that's easy. You know, you can make sure everything, okay, 1 o'clock to 105, we do this, and then 105 to, you know, no, things go wrong. And thing is, my natural tendency is to think something will go wrong, 
But you never know. But you have to be ready. You have to be ready. I was giving my students a bunch of sport analogies. So you got to be ready. Okay? So when something happens, you don't sit there and cry about it. You take what you got, do your thing in your head, and throw it back. Okay? Then it's their turn. And then you get it back. Okay, what do I do? You throw it back after, right? So I, I process those decisions very quickly. And then so... You know, in the meantime, you know, it's like when I set situations on meeting people as well, too, it's like I don't stick by my own schedule. See, I just feel how their conversation's going and what they're like and then, you know, adjust. Work together, right? Juntos. So, you know, it, it's one of those things where I'm going in all these different meetings and school meetings, dance meetings, friend meetings, and you know, you uh, adjust to make it like the greatest situation ever. Okay? And wow, it smells really bad right here. So, uh, yeah, what I realized is I think for me to get in a better position, I have to do all that fast thinking and prepare it earlier because okay even though I got really lucky with a lot of different stuff okay and then I plan really quickly but the thing is there's always going to be a mistake now I am wondering if I plan it really hardcore for long periods of time can I do a flawless either performance a flawless product you know, and then because all the things that you do, your test runs, you figure it out. And then so nothing will go wrong. Is there that chance that we could have a flawless product? Now, to me, this is where I have to weigh out. Okay. How much preparation to how much result that you want. Okay. If I'm going to be like, ah, oh, you know, it's no big deal. No, this is good enough. That's good enough. Then I don't really need to prepare that much, do I? Right? Because if you always think that something's going to go wrong, there's a good chance something will go wrong unless you get really lucky, like I said. And then that's that. But if you practice like crazy, if you prepare like crazy, and something still goes wrong, then you're pissed. You're like, shoot, no matter how much time I prepared, I still had something wrong. And that's why, that's my dilemma. Thinking like, okay, how much do I actually prepare? Okay. But thing is, okay, depend, then now it comes down to what type of person you are. Do you always like being super prepared, super organized? Do you like to just fly by the cuff? Do you like to be lazy and be dirty and all that stuff? It comes down to what you are and then how good the product is supposed to be. Now for me, I don't want to be that lazy person. I don't want to be that unorganized person, whatever. Even though when I talk, I mean, I was talking to, you know, Stu's best friend, who's like my older brother, Paul. And then like, he was just saying, no, that's not the point where we're talking to, right? And I go, oh. And then so he broke down what I was saying. I go, okay, I get it. Okay. But um, when I don't write things down, when I don't do this or that, it's like, it makes it look unprepared, even though in my mind, I feel like it's amazingly prepared. I don't know. I think I'm being stupid. But uh, I'm having a headache just thinking about it right now. I just want to enjoy breathing the air. That's what I should be doing anyway. But I don't know. I kind of like this mask look. Oh. Oh, All right. So there we go. Day one, 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 one in the books. All ones. That's crazy, huh? So, uh, what is it? Yeah. It, it, it. When I need to uh, do these things, I got to. I got, I got to let my brain rest, but I think if I actually wrote things down, prepared, you have a team going, 
and then you know do things as a group then it makes it a little bit easier but you know you have to weigh out okay what do you actually want do you want your idea do you want to share the idea with everybody are you going to be selfish do it as a group whatever the case is right do you want to fly by the cuff do you want to do this it just comes out to what you want to do so a lot of things is just being able to learn how to plan how prepared you're going to be right i think that's that's a good one because being prepared is one thing but planning on how to prepare for something is another so it's going to come down to how much time you're going to put in. Like you go, oh, shoot, you know, this whole thing, I'm going to be spending so much time here. So you have to think, is it worth it? And then you plan like, okay, it is. So, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 this. Is it not worth it? No. Okay, so I'm going to do this, 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 right? So that's where it all comes down to on planning your preparedness. And that's what I got to do too. By the way, I lost like two pounds in like the last couple of days. Anyways, Big Daddy Shin, day 1,111, a.k.a. 1111. If I could exercise 11, 11 days in a row, you can exercise 11, 11 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Planning to prepare.